waiting on these shoes at the dough, okay? <laughs> like, I have been waiting on these. Summer's almost over. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Twitty, and if you're new here, I talk all things fashion and luxury. And today I'm so excited because, drum roll please, I have a Prada unboxing. And you guys, I am so excited because I have wanted these shoes for months, okay? For months. And as soon as they dropped, they sold out in my size. I am a US 8. And so that's like a typical standard average size and it just sold out so quickly. So I have been waiting on these for months and I'm so excited to unbox them with you guys. We're gonna see them together. They just arrived literally today. Like I literally just picked them up. They're here. I'm so excited. I can't wait to unbox them. You guys don't know what I've been through with these shoes. So I actually ordered them a week ago when they became available in my size. I received the shoes. I got all ready to do a video. I unboxed the shoes and you guys, the shoes were the wrong size that I received. They sent me a men's shoe instead of a women's shoe. So it was huge. And I was just so disappointed because I've been waiting on these shoes for months. And now like I finally had them in my hands and they're the wrong size. So we're gonna cross our fingers today that what is in this box is the right size. I am praying and believing and expecting that this will be the correct shoe today. It will fit my foot perfectly and everything will work out. So let's just go ahead and- Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit, activate. Let's just go ahead and have a moment, okay? So it's going to happen. So before we get into this unboxing, if you're new here and you love fashion and luxury, what are you waiting on? You're going to love it here. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notification bell. Also, if you're excited for unboxing and you love Prada and you're into the rubber sandal trend right now, just go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. And now let's get into the unboxing. All right, so I have this huge box here that arrived literally just a few minutes ago, and I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys. I previously ordered these shoes, and they arrived in the wrong size. They sent me a men's shoe instead of a women's shoe. I don't know why. Um, and it was clear that they were also used and returned, so that was a whole nother issue. But I have been waiting for these to come back in stock in my size for the longest now. So I am a little concerned because I haven't had a chance to try on my actual size. I was able to try them on in the store months ago, but they only had a size 36 in the color black. And I'm actually concerned because I'm a size US 8 and I'm typically a size 39 in Prada. So the fact that I was able to fit my whole foot into a size 36 shoe, concerned me and I can tell that they run large. So I actually went ahead and ordered these in my true US size or I guess a size 38. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox these. You guys will get to see how they look. Um, I'm also gonna try them on in a few different styles so that you guys can see how they look dressed up, dressed down. And then we'll also talk about price, sizing, comfort, all of that good stuff. So I'll give you guys a complete kind of like first review on these, but let's just go ahead and get into the actual unboxing. All right, I am so nervous because I'm hoping that they actually sent me the correct shoe this time. You can Okay, you guys, this box has been like the hardest box to open in my life. So they have this thing sealed up tight, but I'm loving the packaging, so I wanna show it to you guys. I ordered these directly from Prada, so you can see on the box, there's Prada everywhere here on the actual box itself, and then they have this little like Prada tag. And then within here, it looks like they have the shoes like in this Prada bag. So let's pull out the shopping bag. All right, 
So inside the box was this big Prada bag. And within the bag are the shoes. And then it also has, and then in the bag it also has the like care card and I'm assuming my invoice. I love Prada's packaging because they mimic the texture of their box and their packaging in their Safiano leather. So everything has that, has that texture, a little ASMR moment for you guys. So they're, so yeah, this is just um, like a shipping label for return instructions in there. And then here we have the actual box. And again, the box has that. I don't know why I love doing that so much. Like I could literally just sit here and feel Prada's like packaging. Is that weird? It may be weird. I don't know. I love it. Okay. So, so far it's looking up. They have the shoe. They have the right size on the label here. So let's open it up and pray that these are the right shoes. Cause y'all, when I tell you, I've been waiting on these shoes at the dough, okay? <laughs> like, I have been waiting on these. Summer is almost over. Like, I wanna wear my shoes. All right, some more, I guess like care card, something like that. And then the paper inside has the Prada logo on it. And here they are oh my god they smell so good they smell like um like fresh wet paint so here is the shoe and it comes with this little tag that says please note we will only accept returns if the label remains attached to the product so that's cool here is the shoe let's take out the tissue now the one thing that's interesting off the bat is that these shoes don't come with real dust bags it comes with this like fake dust bag which is very interesting because I have other designer rubber sandals and they still came with the standard dust bags that regular shoes do so I will say that is minus one point from Prada on these like fake flimsy dust bags and I do like to keep these for travel um, in my luggage but I would like a real dust bag so here they are here are the shoes in all their glory I'm so excited that I finally have these all right so these are so cute these are the Prada rubber cage sandals in Foam. It's like some sort of foam material. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I got them in the color white because first of all, the style of the sandals just reminds me of like, you know, when we were kids, little jelly sandals, which reminds me of summer. So I thought that white was the perfect summer color. I do love the black version as well and I want the black, but I currently have the Chanel rubber dad sandals in black. So I felt like since I have a pair of black rubber sandals that are pretty similar, I should get another color so that I just have more options. And then if I end up loving these, I would pick up the black as well. So I'm so glad that I got the white. I think that these will be absolutely perfect for summer and I can't wait to wear these. So as far as price, these retail for $8.50 um, at Prada. I did notice that some sites such as Saks are selling them for $7.50 USD, which is the previous price of them so i'm assuming that prada did some sort of price increase so if you are interested in these i would hurry up and get them unfortunately the other sites just didn't have my size available so i had to order them directly from prada in order to get a size 38. the pricing i do think the 850 is a little steep for the rubber sandals when it comes to the white pair i am concerned about that price 
um, and the color of them because after I ordered them, I actually saw a girl in the airport two days ago. I'll insert a picture. She had on essentially the same shoe, but by Miu Miu. And for those that don't know, Miu Miu is the sister brand of Prada. They're the same company essentially. So I know the shoes are made out of the same material and her shoes were yellow. Like they're supposed to be the white cage sandal version. They were like yellow and dingy. And I was like, oh my gosh, cause I knew that these were coming in the mail. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, did I make a mistake? Because I don't want my shoes to look like that. So I don't know if it was just like the way that she like, wears her shoes and didn't take care of them or if they just actually do turn yellow over time so that is a watch out like something that i am concerned about i know that materials like this like foam and rubber do tend to change colors and like change the properties of the material change over time so i am a little concerned because i really want these to be like bright stark white i love how white they are and i'm not sure how easy they will be to clean so i'll definitely like keep them out of storing in the sun or something like that so that they don't fade but for now i'm really happy with these so when looking for these shoes i've heard them called foam and i've also called heard them listed as rubber so i don't know what the material is because when you go on prada's website it just says other materials so we know for sure that it's not leather um it's just some sort of man-made material so i that's just something to be mindful of i do think 850 is a little steep for a man-made material but i just really really wanted these i love these i think these are so cute they're so different and i just know i'll be able to wear these like so many different ways um and i think they're just like such a cute conversation piece they're so nostalgic and i just thought these were like perfect to add to my collection as far as weight these are very big and chunky looking you can see on the screen but they feel very lightweight um they don't feel as light as just foam it is like a more like a plastic material it feels like so there is like a little weight to them but nothing like super heavy or chunky or anything like that they feel very lightweight and like they'll be comfortable on the foot so speaking of on the foot let's go ahead and put these on my feet let's try them on and see if they fit perfectly all right you guys i'm so excited because i have the shoes on now and they fit like an absolute glove the size eight is absolutely perfect for my foot they are so comfortable they're so lightweight like i am just obsessed like look at it i just have on this cute little dress today from nasty Yell, and i just thought this would be the cutest little dress to wear these shoes with i'm obsessed like I absolutely love this outfit and this is exactly how I would wear these shoes. I'll show you guys a few other ways I would wear it as well so you can dress it down. You don't have to wear it with a dress, but just like, tell me this is not like just the cutest, most darling little way to wear these shoes for the summer and they fit so perfectly. Like I can't, I still have the tag on because I want to try them on and make sure that they work, but I definitely know that I'll be keeping these because they fit so perfectly. You can see them on my foot, very chunky. They have the little Prada logo on them. Just look at those. I can't get over this. All right, so here's another way that I would style these shoes. I think when people think about them, they just think about like shorts and dresses and really summery things, but I would totally wear them with a pair of jeans as well, like I have now. So I just have on this like faux leather blazer, but you could really do any blazer. And I added a white tank to kind of pull together the top and the shoes and just some baggy jeans. So I thought that this would be really cute way to style these. Um, this leg isn't going all the way down because I still have the tag on the shoes, but I just thought this was like, a fun look and just something unexpected with this type of outfit all right and then for our third and final look i said hey let's just go all out with the prada and just like see how it looks so i have on my prada bucket hat my prada re-edition bag some shorts and the little shoes excuse my shorts i know they need to be ironed 
but I actually really like the white shoes with the black Prada logo. Of course, if I had the black shoes, it'd be really easy to put that on and make this a look, but I kind of like breaking up the black Prada logo stuff with the white shoes because as you can see, it's very logo heavy and that's something I've been like really struggling with when I do wear these together is just feeling like oh like it's just too many logos um and especially with like a black pair of shoes so I love now I have this white pair that can add to it and kind of like break things up and not look so 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 like matchy matchy with the same thing and these shorts are a little big so they keep gathering the shorts are meant to like flare out and kind of look almost like a skirt or a skirt, I guess. So they keep gathering weirdly. I don't know if I really like these. I'll probably switch to a regular pair of shorts because of that because I don't like how it keeps gathering there. But you guys at least get the overall look of the outfit there. If I cover it up, I think it looks better. And that is the look. I think that's really, really cute. And yeah, I actually really love the white with the black accessories to break things up. I think it makes it feel a lot more summery and springish, which is the vibe that I definitely want to go for. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, but most importantly, I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these rubber sandals. Are you into it? Or are you not? I know that these are a shoe that are kind of those that love it, love it. Those that hate it, hate it. But I'm hoping if you clicked on this video, you at least had some interest in them. And I hope that I persuaded you to the love it side. But let me know in the comments what you think because I am absolutely in love with these and I cannot wait to wear them for summer. And now I feel like I definitely need another pair of them in the black for sure. If you love this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye!